This is for Specialist Mathematics 3.4. It comes out of 2D, so it comes out of vectors. 3i asks you to find the unit vector of a and the unit vector of b, and I've already done that. a is 2i minus 2j minus k, therefore the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, which gives you the square root of 9, which is 3. And b is the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 25, so 5. Therefore, the unit vector of a is 1 third a, and the unit vector of b is 1 fifth b. So find the unit vector, so therefore, once I find the vector, I divide it by its magnitude, which bisects this angle. Okay, how do I bisect an angle is a big question. So I've got vector a, and I've got vector b. And this point here is point A, and this point here is point B, because these are position vectors. So this is going to be the origin. So the angle theta is A, O, B. And I wish to find half of it. Now, if I was to add A plus B, that's actually going to give me a parallelogram, A and B, because the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B are different. And if I was to look at a parallelogram, the diagonal of a parallelogram does not bisect the angle. I know that because a rectangle is a parallelogram and the diagonal of a rectangle will not give you equal angles. So what I need is I need these two vectors to be the same length. So it doesn't matter where along A or where along B I am because theta is always the same size. So if I had a direction in B and a direction in A that was the same length, then I could add them together and that would give me a rhombus. And when I have a rhombus, so A and then B, a rhombus, the diagonal cuts this angle in half if it's a rhombus. Now, there's something happening in this question. They didn't ask me to find these unit vectors for no reason. So always be on the mindful thinking, why was part A asked? Part A was asked because we use it in part B. So, if I take A hat and I add it to B hat, that's going to give me a vector of one length in the direction of A, plus a vector of one length in the direction of B. And since they're both one unit lengths, that's going to form a rhombus. Therefore, A hat, B hat, the unit vector of A plus the unit vector of B, is going to be the vector that bisects that angle. So what have I got? I've got one third, so two on three i minus two on three j minus one on three k plus three on five i plus four on five k. I'm going to put all over 15 and bring the 15 out the front. So I need to multiply this by 5. So 10i, need to multiply that by 5, minus 10j, need to multiply that by 5, minus 5k, need to multiply this by 3, plus 9i, multiply by 3, plus 12k, is going to be 1 on 15, 10i plus 9i, 19i, minus 10j, uh, plus 7k. The magnitude of this will be the square root of 19 squared plus 10 squared plus 7 squared all on 15, which on my calculator gives me an answer of the square root of 510 on 15. So this vector has this magnitude, therefore I need to multiply um, the vector which is 1 on 15 needs to be multiplied by 15 on the square root of 510 times this 
and the 15s cancel and to rationalize the denominator it's the square root of 510 divided by 510 19i minus 10j plus 7k will be the unit vector that bisects this angle and I needed to use the diagonal of a rhombus. Okay, that's it.